is one persistent cake, but it's still mighty tasty. Speaking of cake, it's time for less than equivalent fractions using my pecan crumb cake recipe. At least part of it, seeing as it's a secret family recipe. You remember, equivalent fractions have the same value even though they don't look like each other. And my sister wrote down these ingredients and, well, you can see it looks a little strange. We've got 9 18 cup packed brown sugar, 12 48 cup all-purpose flour, 24 36 cup warm water, 9 27 cup butter, 24 30 seconds cup granulated sugar. We're going to have to use division to create new equivalent fractions that are a little more familiar. If you recall, I can divide 9 18 by 1 and not change the value of 9 18 Remember, any number other than zero when divided by itself is equal to one. For example, two over two is equal to one. Sound familiar? But I can't divide nine by an even number since nine is an odd number. But that's not a problem because three over three is also equal to one. So if I divide nine eighteenths by three over three, my new equivalent numerator is three and my new equivalent denominator is six. That makes my resulting equivalent fraction 3 sixths. That was easy. And since 9 over 9 equals 1, I can divide 9 18 by 9 over 9, and my new numerator is 1, and my new denominator is 2. So my resulting equivalent fraction is 1 half. That looks a lot better. And remember, 9 18 cup of brown sugar is the same amount of sugar as 1 half cup. Thank goodness for simplified fractions. Now, you can do this exercise with just about any recipe that uses fractions. Remember, you're welcome to come back anytime and... Uh-oh, I swear I had that problem fixed.